Hello my friends, this is the LZX Double Vision and today I'm gonna make the first of uh, what might be a lot of changes to this synthesizer. Starting with a brand new module. Scrolls. So I think we're gonna replace the dual oscillator because uh, Scrolls has uh, some similar functionality. And I'd really like to see how those play together, um, but for now, we've got perfect space in the setup for, for scrolls. Let's see what we can do. All right, now maybe first. We'll use the same signal chain that we were using with the original setup. Very cool. All right. I'm gonna plug these guys back in. And that, and that is that. So let's go try this out. Okay, you're set up with scrolls. Uh, let's get things zeroed here or um, as close to center as possible. And uh, I don't really know what to expect with this thing. I've uh, checked out a couple videos and I kind of get the gist of moving things around on screen. But uh, today I just want to focus on scrolls and, and what it can do kind of in a, a self-contained sort of way just to get a scope on it. So let's start in the A position. Um, and we're going to go right into our encoder. We'll kind of even things out over here. Black. Um, we'll just turn things up. There we go. Faster. So there's a signal. Um, I bet we could speed things up uh, by going into free mode here or freaky mode. Um, I think that's all we're going to get out of the the A output. Let's try our sawtooth. See, that makes sense to me. Uh, we've got the uh, kind of the gradient up to the hard break of the sawtooth. And I imagine if, um, if we go with the reverse sawtooth here, uh, we've got the reverse. Um, B is probably going to give us more flashing lights. more of a, a sine wave. Let's go back to A for a second. A is, is kind of like a sawtooth wave. And then B is a little more triangular. Uh, we've got uh, a pulse wave. Oh, there it goes. Slow that guy down. Hey wait up. Make a move backwards. Or um, stick them in the middle somewhere. There we go. So let's keep them running. Let's keep them running faster. All right. And then finally, we've got um, triangle wave. And uh, that also makes sense to me with the gradients on either side. Um, now this center switch here, kind of smooths out the middle. It's kind of like a mirror. Um, let's go back. 
there, you can see it there. Okay, me let's move this guy into the middle. Let's add in another pulse wave. And then we could move him around, or her. Um, and maybe get them both moving. Or, uh, or converging. So, slow things down. And uh, now that we've got a little color in here, maybe we can pass them over each other. It's kind of cool. Or, huh. Okay, now we've got our mode selector, and I kind of have an idea how this is gonna work, um, because HH has gotta mean horizontal, horizontal and we've got our horizontally scanning bars here. Um, but we can go vertical. So uh, we've got vertical, vertical, and I'm gonna assume HV uh, means horizontal, vertical. And we've got our little uh, crosshair moving across the screen. Down, 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 down. Cool. Um, we've got PP, which, um, oh, there it goes. Um, ping pong, I would assume. Let's wait for it one more time. Here it comes. Ping. Oh, not quite. Pong. Okay, um, don't ask me what O stands for. Let's give it a little more speed here. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, uh, O stands for oval, I would assume, because it's moving in a very oval shape. That's pretty cool. J for... Jerky. I don't know. I'm sure I can find a use for it. C. Oh. We'll call this one the windshield wiper. If your windshield wipers are making that sound, you probably shouldn't be using them. Um, and then R. Which has got to mean random. Let's just crank that up and see what random looks like. Party mode. Um, let's go back to our bars. The printer. Okay, let's slow it down. Um, go back to horizontal, and let's uh, let's just try some triangles. See that, and then let's get them converging, just oh, slowly. See that is very cool, and that is all scrolls. I really like that. Um, cool. Alright, I think we're very close. like those colors. I 
think we could take it a step further. Um, we'll take another output. We'll take an output from B, which was um, very sine wavy, very triangular. Just put it in our blue channel here. Very cool. I just love how those colors work. And that's a very basic uh, overview of uh, just some of the simplest things you can do using scrolls as a self-contained module within your uh, within your system. So thanks a lot for watching, and um, see you on the next one.